Well, right. Uh, there's a lot of passion about the economy, about inflation. And normally in a midterm election, you, uh, however angry a lot of people feel, it doesn't necessarily translate into them going to record numbers, especially in a year where presidential contest isn't on the ballot. It, it might be different this year. Uh, the last time we saw a very high midterm turnout, you'd have to go back to 1994. Of course, that was the Gingrich Republican Revolution, if you will. Uh, it certainly humbled Bill Clinton, but a couple of years later, he ended up getting reelected, taking cues from the messages of that election. What happens right now? We have GOP pollster Lee Carter, Democratic pollster Mark Penn, geniuses both. Um, so, Lee, let me get your read on the anger out there. It's palpable, that we know, but is it enough to get more out to the polls than we would typically see in a midterm election? I'm not sure. And the reason for that is when you look at the polling numbers on how people feel about the inflation, economy, immigration, those are the most important issues to Americans. Most people think that Republicans are more likely to be uh, favorable on those issues and think that Democrats are focused on other issues. So then you would expect Republicans to be running away in the polls, and that's simply not happening. And I think one of the main reasons, the reason for it, is that Republicans are spending so much of their time talking about how bad it is when most Americans know how bad it is. They're reminded every time they fill up their tank with gas, every time they check out for groceries, every time they pay their energy bills each month. We know how bad it is. We don't need to be reminded. What we do need is a plan on how to get better. And I know that the Republicans are starting to see this plan with their commitment to America, but it really hasn't taken hold yet. So people are left wondering, what is the real difference going to be? Now that should, if the Republicans can answer that over the next month, then they're going to run away in the polls. But right now, I think a lot of people are saying, I want it to get better, but I'm not sure how it's going to get better. I want to go to the election itself. And let's say, Mark, just hypothetically, that the Republicans take back the House. They might even take back the Senate. That, that's a higher climb, I, I grant you. But the one thing we learned from the guy you used to advise, Bill Clinton, is that, you know, a savvy, politically tuned president can, can learn from such events. Uh, Bill Clinton did. Uh, the famous era, big government is over. Uh, and he ended up getting reelected. I, I, I'd like to try to juxtapose that against if it's that kind of a scenario, what a, a Joe Biden does. Yeah, uh, I mean, first, let me just say to, to Lee's comments, we are picking up in the Harris poll, maybe not a greater absolute turnout, but when we screen to likely voters now, the congressional uh, horse race goes from 50 50 to 53 47. We're seeing voters who care about inflation, immigration, and crime being more energized. And to, to go to your point, so Neil, fifty-three forty-seven in favor of fifty-three forty-seven in favor of Republicans. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, in favor of the Republicans, and so it's the first time we're really picking up that strong a difference in the likely voters. And so we are seeing things kind of tipped. Uh, in the Republican direction, the closer we get, and after the last inflation numbers came out, look, I think to to your point, Neil, if it if there is a divided government, uh, I think Mitch McConnell said, I'll make a moderate out of out of President Biden. I just don't see that happening because I don't know whether Biden's actually running for re-election. Bill Clinton wanted to be re-elected, re didn't want to be a one-term president ran on a program of being a centrist and wanted to get back to there. He felt his White House and administration had taken him away from what he genuinely believed and brought me and a team in to kind of reestablish the center. Will that happen again with Joe Biden? I don't see the evidence because President Clinton didn't know 94 was coming. Joe Biden knows this midterm's been coming. He's doubled down on ev almost everything. He did the MAGA speech. You know, he's doing a little effort here, but he basically dug in. So I'd like to see what you said happen. I've written a number of articles about the president should have made a pivot six months ago. He should do something about the border. He should do something, you know, to restrain spending. He should do something strong about crime, but he just hasn't. I don't think that's going to happen. I'd like to see it happen. Um, you know, obviously, it, the economy, inflation, all this stuff is, is now getting to be front and center in a number of these key debates, including last night's in Georgia with Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker. I want you guys to react to this. This is from last night. He said he would not have voted for the Inflation Reduction Act, and I think he should tell the people of Georgia why he thinks they should have expensive insulin 
and why the pharmaceutical companies should be able to charge us whatever they like. I believe in reducing insulin, but at the same time, you got to eat right because he may not know, and I know many people that's on insulin, and unless you have a eating right, insulin is doing you no good. So you have to get food prices down, and you got to get gas down so they can go get insulin. What do you think of that, Lee, and the message that Hurst Walker was sending that it comes back to just eating right uh, and affording what you're eating? Well, I think that the message of just eating right is one that is uh, pretty dismissive of what many diabetics go through, because many type 1 diabetics have no choice in the matter. But I think his point about getting cost of living down as a whole was well taken. And I think his performance overall last night was a good one. He needed to have a good night with all the controversy that's been surrounding him. And I think that he was able to address and set himself up um, to allay a lot of concerns that people had about him. Um, and I think he was focused on those issues that are most important to Americans, which is really about getting the cost of living back to manageable. Uh, it does feel like it's out of control. And you contrast that with what the president said. The president said, look, things are starting to get better. People aren't feeling that. Uh, people don't believe that it's really getting better. All right. We'll see. Uh, Mark, I robbed you of a response to that, but I hope to have you back soon again.